How, how it's a disposable do you think he's skill. Do magic. Well, well, you know, he was known for having a jump shot in college, so uh, I hope <laughs> that he hit a few jumpers. I can't, can't, <laughs> that damn James Harden set me up, man. He wouldn't let me practice. He wouldn't even let me take off my tie. And he said, hell with that, get behind the three-point line. I said, why are you doing this to me? He said, as much smack as you talk about everybody else, I don't want to hear nothing. Get behind the three-point line and jack it up. It, 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 it was it, bad. It was bad, Jay. It, it was bad. Day. Well, you know, you were talking stuff about my Jay oh. uh, on the promo oh. yesterday. Yes, I was. And so, you know what I do to you. <laughs> I might not what, do what it James do to you, but, you know. Well, it, listen, it man. Could be another your, bad your day. jump shot developed as you grew, as you got older in your career. Yeah, you Early right. on, right. you were not a you jump right. shooter. But I didn't you set the record running. for consecutive threes in the five? Oh, stop oh. kissing up. Don't, I'm pretty sure. kissing up. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't tell throw, him all the stuff. You know I know him anyway. No, you know me. You know I know him. No, jump, jump shooting was not my game. It was not your thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But in fairness to, to, in fairness to Magic, it wasn't MJ's either. No. Yeah, at, at first. first. At yeah, first. he developed. And I, let me say this, too, while we're on that young man. Whoever closes the end of the season between Wes, Russ, and Harden going to win the MVP. No them, question. Them dudes are balling so hard. And I don't know how you're going to decide which one of them well, guys going to Let me it. tell you, and you tell me but, whether or not you disagree. But let me just say, Go ahead. the triple doubles, that mean a lot to me because I know how difficult it is to get one. Averaging. So it that's, is. And, and, and then what James is doing and where he has his team. See, I, I give a vote here and I right. give a mm -hmm. vote here. So now Russell's it's, working with less. Yes. Working with less. Yes. But I got to give credit where credit is due. And I know Max always says that James Harden is a beneficiary of D'Antoni. To some degree, yes. No, but James no, Harden, was, no, he was no. who he was can, before D'Antoni let, arrived. Let, 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 me, let, me, sure. let me squash this real fast. Pat Riley came to me and said, Irvin, you, it's your team now. I said, did you ask Kareem? That I can have this green light? Because, <laughs> you know, he, 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 said, he said, yeah. I said, okay, I got to go from 17 points now to 25 points. He says, that's what's going to help us win championships now, you scoring more. That added responsibility made me a better player and the MVP of the league. It's not his system. It, it was him saying, here's the ball. You're going to be the point guard now. That added responsibility of playmaking has made James Harden a better player. Same thing with Russ. KD leaves, okay, it's your team now. You have to play at a high level and get these triple doubles I have a question just about for that, them Magic. to win. I have a question about that, though, because you were able to do that in the context of championship teams. Right. Even as you added responsibility um, and filled up the stat line, triple doubles or what have you, it was still very much the ball was moving. It just didn't stick with you and you dribble, 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 right, dribble to death, right. right? The ball was moving. You, it, you, you made all your teammates feel they could be the best versions of themselves. You trusted them. Right. Russell Westbrook's my favorite player because it's unbridled aggression. How often do you get to see that at that level? But at the same time, I wonder what someone like you, th what you think about his style of play. Is he trying to do too much? Is he not doing enough of what you did by trusting his teammates and, and, and to elevate their play by helping them be the best versions of themselves? But he is trusting them because he's still getting the assist. And they built this team, brought shooters in, Anderson in, you know, and so it was a great pickup, Ryan bringing him in. And so what they do is one, pick and roll, three shooters in the corners, and play like that. That's Dan Tony's system, though. But they're winning with it. Third best record in the I'm West. I'm about Westbrook. Oh, oh Hard, West, yes, Westbrook. I mean. Well, what, look, I am so, this guy. Amazing. Where he has this team, you take him off that team, <laughs> and where would they, where the would they be? Mm -hmm. He is playing at a high level. There's only been two guys I've seen with the type of athletic ability and the endurance. Iverson. Well, I, that's the third one. Okay. So Allen, LeBron, and Michael Jordan. I've never seen a guy like Westbrook that plays that hard for 42, 44 stop. minutes. Stop and at right that there. Pace. I'm pace. going someplace. Ooh. Kevin Durant left to go to the Golden State Warriors. Your reaction, remind us of what your reaction was before 
when it first happened, July 4th, mm -hmm. and where are you now as it pertains his willingness to make that move and what it left Russell Westbrook with? Well, I didn't like it. I wanted them two to stay together because I look forward to seeing OKC every night. I was looking forward to watching them two together. Last season, the season before, I tuned in. I ran home mm -hmm. just to watch them play because they were great together. And so, and when you come that close to beating a team, you always look forward to the next year. I'm going to get you next year. Okay, I made some mistakes. Just like in 84 against the Celtics, we came up short. But we want you again in 85. And sure enough, we came back in 85 and beat the Celtics. I thought if they stayed together, that would have happened and just so Max, Golden State. Just so you know, my issue wasn't with Kevin Durant leaving. It's him choosing to go to the team that beat him a month earlier in the Western Conference Finals after being up 3-1. Does that, is that extra for you? Well, I, I think as a competitor, you, you, you never think like that. I would never think to join the Celtics or to join the, right. the Bulls with Michael. Pistons or anybody else. Yeah, and the Pistons with Isaiah. You know, we wanted to take it to each other, and, and, and we did that. But he's there. And this team, special, <laughs> special. No question. I tell you, is that acknowledgement of LeBron though? Like Kevin Durant looks at, at LeBron, who's just unbelievably great. He's like you and and Michael had a baby, and it was LeBron James. He can he does all the things that you do, and a lot of the things that or a lot of the things that both of you did. How do I get over that hump with with Kyrie and Kevin Love? And Durant looks around and goes, I think the only way to do it is to go to Golden State. Well, he said he looked up and said. Hey, LeBron got all these championships, and I don't have any. Mm -hmm. And that's why he joined them. He wanted to win championships. Let's stay with LeBron, because I want to get your thoughts on some breaking news. So a lot of people have been saying lately that maybe the Cavs can't contend with the Warriors. Now we just heard Kevin Love's out six weeks. He's oh, getting wow. his knee scoped. How much mm -hmm. does this hurt this Cavs team? It hurts them a lot, because, again, what he does, they don't have anybody on that team that can do it. Because we're entering, that's playoff time almost. One statement, yeah. one question. Statement. Mm -hmm. This proves that if they didn't flat out lie, they were fibbing significantly when they were acting like Kevin Love is here to stay. We ain't thinking about moving him, etc. Because as I reported on numerous occasions, the health of Kevin Love was a question mark. Back, knee. Don't tell me in the midst of a $113 million contract with back and knee issues, you think about keeping the dude. Stop it. So we are, we are, we're done with that story. Question to you. Carmelo Anthony, some people are of the mindset he would not be, uh, he would not have been a good addition for Kevin Love, meaning swapping those guys. I say... I don't want to hear about ball hogging. Carmelo Anthony, 6'8", 240, can play with his back to the basket, can pull you from, can hit you from threes, mid-range game, can score off the dribble, play breakdown. He can make things happen. And more importantly, who would his teammate be? It would be LeBron. And we'd see Ele Melo's game elevated. To that, you say what? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Well, Kevin Love lost all those games in Minnesota. What happened when he got to <laughs> Cleveland? He was a champion. Kyrie Irving got better with LeBron, right? That's who LeBron is. He's a special player. He's, he's a one-in-a-lifetime player. And so he, he makes everybody better, and also he holds everybody accountable, much like MJ used to do, Larry Bird used to do. And that's what it's all about. So Melo would have told the line. But the one thing you love about Melo, which a lot of teams don't have, is a guy to say in the fourth quarter there's and they get their threes. And steal and block shots. Exactly. Number and one. And even shots. the jump shots come from, you got to get to the paint one way or another. Either you post or you dribble penetrate to the paint. But you got to get there you to make it You got to get there. That's right. And, and, and they do it off of steals and blocks in their defense. Right? So Carmelo is a guy you can always count on to say, okay, I'm going to get to my spot. He always gets to his spot and raise up over you or takes it and gets fouled. And some of these teams in the playoffs right now, they need a guy like that. Two quick questions to end this. A, how do you feel, how hard should the Clippers go after Melo? I think they should go after him. And because, look, you got one more shot with these guys because they're all free agents at the end of the season, right? So you got to say, hey, let's go all in. Let's go all in and try to get to take my chances against Golden State. Last question, New York <clears throat> Knicks. 
You had an opportunity to run the New York Knicks. That was a job you turned down. Evidently, very, very wise decision on your part. <laughs> Could you explain to us what is wrong with this franchise? Why does it seem like Phil Jackson, an 11 time champion, is suddenly inept? And what can be done to change their, 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 their fortunes around? Only thing I can see from the outside is that you get, there's a lack of communication in private. I, I don't think if you should put everything out in the public before you even talk to your superstar, right? I think there's a conversation, hey man, do you want to be here? Or do you want to leave? And have that conversation between the two of them, not on Twitter. And now you have to remember, you can never disrespect a superstar or any player, but especially a superstar. Because everybody looks up to Carmelo. Because Carmelo, Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade, LeBron wow. James, they're all best friends. Mm -hmm. And these are dudes who run in the league. So if you disrespected him, they're going to put the word out on you. Like, man, maybe this is not the spot you should come to. See, so I so don't Phil think... has hurt himself. Phil has hurt the New York Knicks because of the imagery of him backstabbing his star player. Yes, so I think they should get together. They still got a week to go. Mello, what do you really want, right? And let's see if we can make this happen. Or do you want to stay a Nick? And they need to have that conversation. Without that conversation... Got a no-trade clause, Magic, and, 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 and he may not want to leave, but Phil wants him to leave. I think that's why Phil's been doing this. Phil wants him going so he can start anew without Mello. But, but see... That's why you lose the battle, because you know that my man got the, the, the last say-so, and he can just say, hmm, I'm going to just sit here. Because you disrespected me like this? It doesn't make any sense. You're yeah. also driving down his trade value. What, what is Phil Jackson doing? Yeah. He's making him less valuable, if, even if you want to build around Porzingis, which I think is a very good idea going forward, because their primes aren't going to overlap, really, Carmelo and Porzingis. Why would you talk down his trade value? You want to get something good for him. It doesn't make sense, Magic. I'll I, I tell you this. I, I love the guy because he wants to be a Nick. He loves playing in New York. It's difficult to play in New York and LA, in L.A. It's difficult to play for Boston unless you coming in and really understanding the fan base. The Celtics fan base know championship basketball. The Nick fan base know good basketball and championship basketball. The Laker fan base know that. So when you come in those cities and plan for those franchises, mm. you got to understand that this fan base is not going to let you have bad nights. They all still show up. Mm -hmm. that, that is, I just want to pat them on the back. The Laker fans, same thing. They still all still show loyal. up. They love their team and their town, and they want to win. If, I, if I'm Phil, I say, man, let me just build around this cat. Right. Let me just keep him. I got to tell y'all, Clippers games look like a high school environment compared to Laker games. Oh. It's night and day. Mm -hmm. Even now. Big brother, little brother. Even, yeah, even with the Clippers having more success. When Magic Johnson speaks, we listen. Unfortunately, we run out of time with you. Wish well, we had more time. Well, let me but just say, go, go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. The season is going to start. You guys are looking pretty good. Good luck with the Dodgers, the Lakers, everything, Thank Magic. You. Appreciate you. Come back soon. Watch out for these two guys, you know. Man, I still haven't been to your office in L.A. You coming? I know. That's what I'm saying. We got to do that. See, I got to come by the office. You, you shoot jumpers with James and you do business with me. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> the office is courtside for the Lakers, man. <laughs>